you want best outcomes for your retirement, then you need guidance on obtaining best advice. This video explains all you need to know and how to avoid being overcharged by multiple companies. If you are considering a pension transfer or have safeguarded benefits valued at over £30,000, like a UK final salary pension scheme, you must take advice from a UK FCA regulated pension transfer specialist. But what if you are dealing with a financial advisor who is not a UK FCA regulated pension transfer specialist? They may suggest that they are your advisor and give the investment advice, and they will work with a pension transfer specialist to get your transfer signed off. But this is a conflict of interest, as they only get paid if you transfer. Or even worse, this could be the first part of a sophisticated scam. We have seen many examples where overseas or unregulated advisors have charged three times more than a UK advisor would charge. This can be tens of thousands and hidden as a 1% commission charge, thus not declaring it. In many cases, especially offshore and expat clients, this is the road to ruin. It is true that it's permissible for firms to outsource this advice to a UK third party with FCA permissions, and there are fewer and fewer of them. So how do you avoid being scammed? Here are our top tips for a DB pension transfer. Non-regulated advisors must refer you to a UK advisor immediately or you find your own. These non-regulated advisors should not be giving any advice at all about the transfer. The only involvement they may have is referring you to a tax advisor in your country of residence to ensure that any advice is joined up. Scam warning. If non-qualified advisors start to talk about products and investments before you have taken advice or arrange for a UK advisor to provide a report, or suggest that they can sort out your pension transfer, or if they don't let you speak to the UK advisor about whether a transfer is in your best interests, then you are risking being scammed or defrauded. Keep an eye out for dud reports. If the report suggests that it would not normally recommend a transfer, or suggests that it is not taken into account third-party charges, or that the report may not be accurately portraying third-party charges from your advisor, or does not directly state a transfer is in your best interests, or suggest that you have overridden the advice, or it is your idea to transfer, or you have not spoken to the UK qualified advisor and check that they are who they say they are on the FCA register. All of these could be a dud report, leading to later problems for you. Remember, the overseas advisor or introducer will encourage you to transfer because they're going to earn maybe tens of thousands in hidden commissions. 